Before the NLRA, many employers established company unions, which nominally represented employees, but were really under the employer's control. The NLRA sought to end this practice to preserve employee independence in collective bargaining. In response to employee interest in unionizing, Bud Manufacturing Company created the Bud Employee Representative Association. The company funded an election for association representatives. Bud divided association representatives into committees that negotiated with management about wages, employee complaints, and other working conditions. The company paid representatives for their time spent working on association tasks. An outside union sought to organize Bud's workers. The union filed an unfair labor practice charge, alleging that the association violated the NLRA. Did it? Section 8A2 makes it an unfair labor practice for an employer to, quote, dominate or interfere with the formation or administration of any labor organization or contribute financial or other support to it, unquote. Therefore, Bud violated the statute if the association was a labor organization and if Bud dominated, interfered with, or supported it. What's a labor organization? Under the NLRA, an organization need not formally be a union to be a labor organization. The statute says an entity is a labor organization if employees participate and if one of the entity's purposes is to deal with the employer regarding the terms and conditions of employment. Dealing with an employer isn't limited to negotiating collective bargaining agreements. An organization deals with an employer if the organization and the employer engage in bilateral discussions in which the organization makes proposals to the employer, the employer actually or apparently considers them, and the employer accepts or rejects them.